we just arrived at the Manatee Viewing Center here in Apollo Beach. Uh, they just opened the gates at 10 a.m. and we're making our way in. So we checked out the viewing area, uh, it was pretty nice, quite a few manatee hanging out. Uh, we're making our way into the building here to check the building out before it gets too crowded. Like I said, we got here first thing, so we were like in the first 50 cars to get in. So it's not overly crowded, plus it's a Sunday, so I don't know uh, how busy it normally gets on Sundays. So we shall explore and see what they have here. Mama, so much is it So basically this area, Tampa Electric Company or TECO, uh, uses the water, they circulate it through their plant to cool the generators, and that creates a nice warm water um, for the manatees. It says here manatees cannot survive for long in water below 68 degrees Fahrenheit. The waterway you see outside is the discharge canal for the Big Bend power station. Making electricity creates lots of heat, so the station takes in salt water from Tampa Bay to cool the plant. This clean, warm water then flows into the canal. The long channel allows the water to cool to ambient temperature before it returns to the bay. So they have a little cafe here if you want to grab some snacks or something to eat. So here are the prices. Um, they don't look too bad. Candy bars, $1.86. Ice cream, $2.75. Get a turkey wrap for seven bucks. Ham and cheese, $5.50. Yeah, these are pretty reasonable prices, I think. There's a turtle rescue center not too far from here that you can go see. So when we're done here, we're gonna head over there. We're gonna walk around here a little bit. There's some trails we can do, and then we will head to the turtle rescue center. They've got a nice seating area underneath the uh, visitor center here. Plenty of seating. If you wanna grab something to eat upstairs at the snack bar and bring it down here. So we got quite a few tables, which is nice. And plus you're out of the sun on those Super hot days, you're not sitting in direct sunlight, so it's pretty nice. So we just finished on the boardwalk, we're making our way to the car, and then we're gonna park over in the, what they call the overflow parking lot. And from there, there is a free shuttle to the Turtle Rescue Center, which is our next stop. All right, so we're just getting home now. It's about 7.45 p.m. Sunday night. Uh, we spent the day down in Tampa over at Apollo Beach. We went to the um, Manatee um, Observation Center, or viewing center there, and then we spent a couple hours there. And then from there, we went over to the Turtle Rescue uh, Center, which is just down the road. There's a, a shuttle you can take from the Manatee Viewing Center, or you can drive down to the what they call the Overflow Parking Lot, park your car there, and then take a little shuttle over to the Turtle Rescue Hospital because it can't you can't drive there. You can walk there, it's about a 15 minute walk. So we took the, uh, the little free shuttle and we explored and walked around a little bit. Not too much to see there, but it was pretty interesting some of the stuff they had there. 
So like I said, it's Sunday night. We just got home. The kids go back to school finally tomorrow after being off for the whole winter break. So we're going to get them ready for bed. And uh, I got to get back to work and back to regular everyday life.